The United Kingdom has a massive educational problem with technology. It teaches kids to be passive consumers of technology rather than creators. It doesn't teach the principles of computer science and coding. And what we want is to have an education system that teaches kids how to make things in the digital age, not just use products. The Raspberry Pi is a, a credit card sized computer, it costs about £22, and we are hoping to use it to teach children to program. So very much like the computers in the 1980s, this is designed to be a machine that plugs into your television. It's almost a machine that turns your television into a computer. And once you've plugged it into your television, plugged it into a power supply and put a mouse and keyboard in, it's just like a regular computer. Today, we're here in London, and we've got a group of people who are new to the Raspberry Pi. These people are just going to be going through some exercises with the Raspberry Pi, uh, using it as a platform for doing some programming, also some physical computing, some interfacing. They're just going to get their first put a toe in the water. Today we've been programming and like editing Invaders, uh, Space Invaders. We have a player, which is our character, which is like a little gun that shoots the raspberries, and we're trying to get him to move up and down. The country is undergoing a very fast pace of change with the digital revolution. If we don't teach our kids the fundamental principles of this, they won't be the sort of masters of their own destiny. So are you, are you finding it easy? Yeah. Ish. Ish. It makes sense to me. I think I'm just struggling with trying to find what code I need to use. Because I don't know the code, but I can understand it. There's a massive skills shortage with teachers. The Royal Society found that two-thirds of the teachers in the United Kingdom weren't qualified to teach even the outmoded ICT course. We were awarded a, a grant of £1,000 to buy these Raspberry Pis for our students. And we have a Raspberry Pi club. Um, and our students know a lot more about it than I do, so I'm kind of catching up with them. Many teachers aren't expert programmers, but suddenly with the new ICT programme of study, they're going to have to teach programming. So there's a problem there. We're advocating a way, if you, if you teach HTML and CSS, teachers can teach that because it's easy. And then if you teach programming visually, uh, teachers can teach that because you don't need to be a, an expert programmer to teach programming visually. It also means that children are learning about computer science as a discipline, which is really what the focus needs to be on, rather than just randomly learning to code. I'm do a degree in computer science so then I can like, try and make processes like make faster processes and stuff. How far off until you're creating your own CPU? Not too far. This is the start, yeah? Yeah. I learned to program when I was a child. I get paid to play with toys every day and I will do for my entire life and who wouldn't want that for their child? I would like to do some coding in our lessons at school instead of just touch typing or things like that. I've learned how to program the computer, what is behind all the game materials and things like that. If we could have another thousand children choosing uh, electrical engineering or, or computer science topics for their degree courses or going into apprenticeships, that would be a really great outcome for industry. A thousand engineers would make a giant difference to industry in this country. And really importantly, it would make a giant difference to a thousand people. It's those logical processes which you can apply to maths, you can apply to so many other cross-curriculum topics. Um, and I just think it's a, it's a, it, it should be a, you know, a building block for, for life through school, really. We've seen some amazing projects already with this. This has been in the market for about six months. A guy called uh, Dave Ackerman launched uh, a weather balloon with one of these under, underneath with a camera from southern England and had it transmitting down pictures as it went up into near space as it went up to about 40 kilometres. And he was sending down these packets that were being received at radio stations all over the UK as far away as Northern Ireland. But there have been people using them to do music hacking, people using them to do home automation. And these are mostly things right now that adults are doing with them. What children are doing with them is exactly what we were hoping they do, which is to learn to program, largely software projects. It's a tool that enables kids to use this outside of the classroom, to start exploring by themselves and develop the skills by themselves. And we're also glad that Eben is manufacturing the Raspberry Pi uh, here in the UK. And it's an example of the growing trend of digital manufacturing and digital making. I think it's going to be a great success story for this country.